It's also Friday night. What are you planning on doing? What are you planning on doing? What are you planning on doing? You are now listening to Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast. Let's get into it. Episode 69. <laughs> Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast. We're here, 69 fucking episodes in the bag. Well, almost in the bag. At the end of this motherfucker, it will be. I'm in the garage, it's cold as fuck. It, no, you know what? No, 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 no. It is cold, but it's not. It's, it's fucking like 16 degrees out outside of this motherfucker. I gotta get a little thermometer for in here because, you know, like right now, it's uh, it's not like terrible. I'm not freezing. Like I am fully fucking dressed with two jackets on and a fucking hat. But <laughs> but it's like I don't know. It's not not as bad as uh not as bad as it is outside. We got like fucking. I think they said in the last seven days we got like 39 inches of fucking snow. So I've been doing a lot of shoveling and um and a lot of people have not I can just look up their driveways and be like yo you guys got some shit happening up there because you ain't I don't know you know what happens well I don't know some some of you don't know what happens like if you just don't fucking shovel the shit it just gets like this packed hard and then it like gets slick and fucking so then you basically like you pack the snow down until it turns into like a fucking big sheet of ice and then even if in the sun melts it a little bit then you just got a fucking ice rink in your driveway and it's fucking super dangerous but anyway I've been out there fucking shoveling the shit whatever that's that's what we do apparently we shovel around this motherfucker um, so all the snow and all this shit has got me thinking about, again, uh, it was a lot of fucking snow, but it's definitely not the worst that this area has had. Like last year, uh, I think, I think I did a podcast, uh, on Christmas Eve, Eve, like in, in Buffalo, which w- was closer where I used to live. Buffalo was a lot closer, um that fucking like 40 people died people were looting it was fucking insane uh and we got fucking snowbound like even if i would have totally shoveled us all out of our fucking driveway i couldn't get down the street because the street was just the same as the driveway and then the the street that we lived off of was just the same as that because it was a total fucking driving ban so there wasn't plows or anything like that and uh and then i kind of started feeling it but i've always um anyway let me let me not get too far off track as I as I do. Um, what what I want to talk about today is like prepping end of the world scenarios, uh, societal collapse, things like that. And um, and I know some people right now are like Psst, next, <laughs> but believe me, this isn't going to be some big uh, woe is me conspiracy um, thing about. I don't know. I'm not. Gonna, I, I'm not gonna get politically fucking charged. We're gonna more talk about you know things that like you know natural or I, I don't know. Anyway, so I can't remember when it really was, but shit, I might have been influenced. Well, I've always been influenced by kind of end of the world scenarios. Let me let me not bullshit and say oh when this stupid show fucking doomsday preppers came out, but that just kind of that just like ignited reignited it because since um i'm trying to think i started watching the movie dawn of the dead the original on a fucking beta max i had that shit for i I watched it so much the tape broke and then i had to learn how to like tape a tape on a fucking beta and and at one at this one part every time it would get all fucked up because that's where i had to like tape it and if and if and if anyone we used to watch tapes like yeah shit was crazy it was like a like a like a roll of tape it was different (laughs) i don't know that that shit is foreign to some people probably but you had to like if the tape snapped in your fucking your beta max or your vcr i I was poor as fuck so i mean 
I didn't have a fucking VCR. I had a fucking hand-me-down Betamax that came from somewhere, and I only had one fucking movie for it. I had two movies, actually. I can't even remember what the other one was because it, it was, like, terrible. It was, like, a fucking love story in Italy of some people from the fucking 70s. It was, like, something terrible. And I don't even know why I kept it just because so I like just so it was there. It was like it was an English movie, but it was like it's set in Italy. It was fucking super lame. And and I had Dawn of the Dead. Oh, shit. The plow coming down the street for the first time today. Motherfucker. Anyway, so I had and I had Dawn of the Dead and um, and I fucking watched that so much. The Betamax ate it. I had to cut the part that was just totally wrapped around all these heads inside of the fucking the fucking player. Cut it to where it wasn't wrinkled. And then you got to like line it up. And then you had to put a fucking like the, a single. You couldn't use like we couldn't use a lot. You only a single piece of fucking scotch tape. But it had to be like perfect. This so it had to be lined up like perfect. And you just had to put like one fucking piece of scotch tape. And it had to be totally flat with no bubbles. It was a pain in the fucking ass. And I was like fucking 12 years old. But I got it. So anyway I used to watch the fuck out of that movie. And and that and that was you know end of the world type shit. And um. And, and I think a lot of movies more then were geared towards things like that. You know, like to fucking Terminator. I was a big Terminator fan and shit. Terminator 2. And um, I think a lot of things were geared towards end of the world scenarios or dystopian futures. You know, like fucking Blade Runner and shit like that. Um, but Dawn of the Dead fucking really had me when they fucking, when they fucking f- flew the fucking helicopter into the mall and all that shit. And like, you know, they had to, and there was like lots of parts of it, you know, like where they were eating all the fucking spam. They had all that spam in the one room and all this shit. If, if you've never seen it, 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 it's a dope ass fucking movie. I think I could watch it all the time, like anytime. Um, I, you might not be able to because... It is. It's old, you know. It looks old. Everything is like old, but it's fucking cool, man. And and that like, so anyway, I used to be. I used to think about that shit then. Like, damn, you know, what if I, you know, some kind of zombie thing happened, you know? And as a kid, you think like, oh yeah, you'll be fucking. You'll have a machine gun. You'll have the fucking saw. Fucking, you'll be doing all kinds of dumb shit. And then. uh so it always like had piqued my interest and shit. And then Resident Evil came out and Resident Evil 2 especially. And then I was like fucking hooked on that. Shout out Dubs. We used to play fucking Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 4 like a motherfucker. Big time. And Silent Hill and shit. But um, anyway, love you Dubs. Um, so that being said, I, I've always like had that thought like, man, what if something were to happen? You know, uh, and, and, and as you get older, you start to realize like, well, that's you'll be fucked, (laughs) you know what I mean, like, like, right now, if everything got fucked, you would be fucked, you know, 18 year old me, I got 20 shotgun shells in my shotgun that Gary bought me, rip Gary, I miss you dog, (laughs) that he straw purchased for me, (laughs) when I was on felony probation, (laughs) Uh, uh, it was my fucking dude, (laughs) anyway so so i'm you know but but even then i'm like yeah hell yeah bitch i got fucking uh, how much rounds am i gonna need you know if the fucking blah 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 but in reality as you get older so so i i get older right and i then covid and all that shit that was pretty recently but when that fucking show doomsday preppers came out i was like you know, I've always kind of thought about this and i was like damn I, you know apparently this is a thing that other people are thinking about too you know and uh and, and this, all this whole snow shit is what really got me thinking about it. Like I almost might talk myself into re re introducing myself to that whole shit because especially with the political climate of the country of the world. And, and you know, if, if, if everything were to get fucked up right now, I would be, I think I'd be fucked. You know, I think right now by myself, I might have a little bit of a chance not much though um 
and now myself with my whole fucking family, I think we'd be fucked because that's a lot of fucking mouths to feed. That's a lot of people to move. That's, you know, like, like by yourself, you have a lot more control of, of your destiny when you have more people to worry about. So I start thinking about all these things. And I'm like looking at these two by fours in the corner of, in, in the, in the, in the studio area. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, all right, I need like, I know to finish this build and have everything ready for when we do finish it. I, I need like six more two by fours right now. They're like two by four by 12 or whatever the fuck it is. Two by four by eight. And, uh, I'm like, all right, I'll probably just get like another 10 more on top of that just to have, or, or more, you know, to have lumber uh, available, um, and and, and, that, and that now my mind is like thinking of all these different things. Now I'm like reevaluate. I'm looking at all my shit. I'm like, all right, I got a generator. I got. I'm looking at it right now. I got a generator. I don't know how to motherfucking use it. I don't know how to use it. I don't know where to put it. And I think I got like a half of small can of gas for the fucking weed eater, <laughs> like that I could put it in the motherfucker. So I'm, I'm I'm evaluating all these things, looking around, and I'm like, fuck, man. I don't know if I would say like, yo, everybody should be conscious of this, but I think definitely people should really start thinking about like, if shit gets fucked up in any, in any level of fucked up, we should really be thinking about what, what, what are we going to do now in my mind, in my mind, in my mind, (laughs) I'm going to fucking go ham on this shit. I'm about to get the fucking, I'm about to have the food stacked. I'm going to get the water stacked, blah, 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 blah. But I'm, I'm not. Like, I'm not going to do that. I say that. I think that. I feel that. Then I start thinking, like, all right, where am I going to put it? I'm like, oh, well, you could put it in the attic. All right, we'll put it in the attic. Realistically, how much, how much food and water can you put on the top floor of a fucking house, right, before it becomes an issue? Probably a lot. But like five gallon or, you know, like the, let's just say like the water cooler jugs of water, like those are fucking heavy. And let's just say you got 10 of them up there. You know, what is that? Is that 200 pounds? Is that fucking 400 pounds? What do they weigh? You know, am I, am, and then you got canned goods and all this shit. So I'm like, so, okay. So maybe some shit in the attic. Then you start thinking, all right, well, what about the basement? All right, well, what about the fucking, what are the conditions like in the basement? You know, like I get water down there. Like when this fucking snow melts, I'm going to get water in the basement. Not good. Water, not good. Not good to have anything there, right? So all these things keep going through my mind and I'm like, fuck, man. I'm like, it's a, it's a scary thing to think about while I'm just like doing my everyday shit, you know, or just doing Devastator, doing fucking this and that. I'm like stressing the fucking, the, the new sweatshirts didn't fucking, didn't sell, da, 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 da. and then on top of that, uh, you know, I'm fucking, oh, how am I going to prepare? So as of right now, and it's always been like this for like the, I've, I've had the, the go bag in my main vehicle, whatever vehicle I've had for like four vehicles now for probably like close to 10 years. It's got fucking like granola bars and shit. Um, it's got water. The water's probably no good because I just keep it in there and it freezes and thaws and fucking, <laughs> I should probably, whatever. And it's got uh, water purification shit. It's got matches, lighter. Um, you know, it's been so long since I've been in there. I actually don't even really remember everything that the that the go bag has. But why I keep it with me is I always think like if I got to make it home from somewhere on foot if like fucking in a in a situation where I got to leave the fucking vehicle can I get home it's not more it's not a to go it's not like a go 